Welcome to Sparks Adventure, where we go beyond the beauty to look at the science and history behind some of the world's most iconic national parks. Today, we're in Denali National Park in Alaska, the last frontier. The U.S. National Park System consists of 419 parks, each one with an incredible story. Let's go beyond the beauty. Let's take a look at Denali. Denali National Park covers six million acres of pristine forests, glacial rivers, and mountain peaks, a park like no other. The mountains here dominate the landscape. In this Sparks Adventure lesson, we're looking at mountain formation. Let's go. The park is named after Denali Peak. At 20,310 feet above sea level, it is the tallest mountain in North America. The peak was called Mount McKinley until 2015, when its true name was restored. Denali means the tall one, in the native Alaskan language of Ko Yukon. Denali can be difficult to get to. For many of us, it's far from home. The National Park Service website has some great resources, including information on the wildlife in the park, people and culture of the region, and more on the geological forces that create this majestic mountain. Around the world, mountain ranges serve as a backdrop for overwhelmingly beautiful sites. Home to a diverse range of plant and animal life, mountains both humble and challenge the human spirit. What forces drive these peaks skyward? Let's look at the basics behind mountain formation. Denali Peak is a part of the Alaska Range a series of mountains that arc east to west from the border of Canada to the Gulf of Alaska. Take note, I'm about to shake things up. There are three basic types of mountains, volcanic, fold, and block. But they all form through pressure created by tectonics, the movement of massive plates of earth that sit on top of a layer of molten magma. Volcanic mountains form by, well, volcanoes. We mentioned that there are plates floating on a layer of hot magma. When one tectonic plate is forced under another, molten magma can rise to the surface. The magma cools and hardens, forming a landmass that rises above the level of the ground and creates a mountain. Fold mountains are formed when rock layers are exposed to high pressure. As they compress, they bend rather than break and form banded layers of rock that are then exposed by erosion. Block mountains are formed when sections of the Earth's crust are torn apart. The section that rises forms block mountains, and the section that sinks forms a rift valley. Now that we've covered the basic types of mountains and how they form, what forces form Denali? If you don't know, ask. That's right, we're going back to the lab. In order to understand more about mountain formation, we reached out to Professor Nathan Niemi, a geology professor at the University of Michigan's Earth and Environmental Sciences Department. He was kind enough to help us tell our Sparks Adventure story. We've looked at some basic types of mountain formations. Can you tell us how the Alaskan Range formed? Sure. Um, the Alaskan Range is along what's called a strike-slip fault uh, in the middle of Alaska. And so a strike-slip fault is where two parts of the continental crust slide past one another, like this. Um, and if this fault is perfectly straight, the two pieces slide by and no mountains are formed. Um, the Denali Fault is a huge curved fault. And when you put a curve in a strike-slip fault, those two pieces, instead of being able to slide past one another, collide with one another at the curve. And so there's a big bend uh, in the Denali Fault, and where that bend happens, the Alaska Range uh, okay. crops up. And it crops up because the two sides of the fault, when they're trying to slide past one another, collide they get thicker through that collision uh, and the mountain grows. We hear the term mountain range a lot when we're talking about mountains, but what does it mean exactly? That's a really interesting question. So many mountain ranges or mountain belts is another term we use are the result of continental collisions. So these huge plates 
on our planet that are colliding together or pulling apart to form ocean basins. Uh, since the plates are really large, often when they collide, they form these long linear belts of mountains uh, where the two plate edges meet. Uh, and so that's often where the term range or mountain belt comes from because they're very elongate. Uh, so for example, if you started in Denali and walked south, you could walk along mountains all the way down the coast of Canada and British Columbia, all the way down into Mexico, and eventually all the way down South America. There's a huge plate boundary that stretches uh, from basically the tip of South America all the way up to the tip of Alaska. Uh, and where that plate boundary is, we have this huge linear chain of mountains. Mountain ranges have always challenged the human spirit. Hiking up enormous peaks, climbing rock faces, or skiing down snow-covered slopes. Mountains stand as a test of human will, a silent call to explore, and a monument to the geological power of Earth. And finally, a question we ask all our contributors. What would an expert like you want a kid like me to know about mountain ranges? I think mountain formation is fascinating, uh, and I think it's, it's fascinating um, because it, it's the expression of something happening on time scales that are kind of beyond what we can see. Uh, and yet the process by which they happen are earthquakes. Mountain belts are primarily except more volcanism or earthquakes. And so we see these huge topographic features that are often beautiful and have taken millions of years to form. And yet they also have the expression that's really, really important to us as society. Uh, mountains also provide a lot of things that we often don't think about as humans. Um, water often comes from mountains in dry or desert regions, which means they're centers of human population as well. People congregate to mountains because elevation change means you can move up and down them through the seasons. It means they provide water that you can have to drink. Um, it may be that you have a variety of fauna that you can hunt or, or uh, use for food. Um, but they're also often uh, quite hazardous. They have landslides, they have earthquakes, they have volcanism. Uh, and we're going to see this play out over the next few decades as we get mega population centers built at the foot of mountains that are dependent on their water or that are suddenly subject to the earthquakes that create them. Uh, it's going to cause challenges for certain parts of the world, for sure. So now we know. Mountains form when tectonic plates shift, causing the Earth's crust to collide, pushing against each other, forming mountains. The magma that tectonic plates ride on can also rise up through the cracks in the Earth's crust, forming volcanoes which then grow into mountains. Mountains challenge the human spirit, a source of key natural resources, a place to explore, play, and conquer. Denali is indescribable. Follow along as Sparks Adventure goes beyond the beauty to learn about the most spectacular sights on Earth. Supernova anytime